Hello and welcome to this wonderful course of computer network. Today we are going to discuss about latency. Uh, latency constitutes of four types of delays. Uh, the first type of delay is like transmission delay, propagation delay, second type is propagation delay, then you have queuing delay and finally you have processing delay. So these are the four types of delays which constitutes latency or complete end-to-end -end delay um, and this delay is for uh, like transferring your data, transferring a packet from source to destination. So then these uh, four types of delays are there which constitutes latency or end-to-end -end delay. So let's see the first thing is uh, packets queue in router buffers. Packet arrival rate to link exceeds output link capacity. If the arrival rate is more than the transmission uh, uh, rate, then uh, this particular router has to keep some packets in its buffer and this, this buffer is going to form a queue and whatever time is spent in this queue uh, is called the queuing delay for a particular packet. So let's, let's understand uh, what is queuing delay? Let's understand this is the queue and this is the uh, first packet to be transmitted uh, into this link, this blue one. So queuing delay for this particular blue packet would be uh, zero because this is the first packet which is going to be transmitted on this particular link. But if uh, a packet comes uh, while uh, this packet is still in this particular queue, then the second packet has to wait for, uh, for for getting transferred or for getting transmitted into this particular link then this waiting time of this second packet in this particular queue is called queuing delay and that time would be equals to the transmission delay of this blue packet i hope uh, we are clear we understand what is transmission delay a couple of lectures back we discussed transmission delay it is nothing but time required by the router to transmit all the bits present in this particular packet into the link is called transmission delay so this second packet has to wait till the time this particular packet is getting transmitted so queuing delay for the second packet in the queue would be equals to transmission delay of this first first packet so transmission delay is what it is nothing but it is l by r capital l by r where l are the number of bits present in the um, in the packet and r is the transmission rate of this particular link so uh, the queuing delay for this particular packet would be uh, l by r and if this packet also comes in uh, behind this uh, second packet then queuing delay for the second packet in this queue would be 2 L by R Transmission delay of these two packets would be the queuing delay for the third packet So I hope we are clear with the queuing delay time spent by a uh, Packet in a queue is called queuing delay and how much is that time that time is equal to the number of uh, packets uh, are ahead uh, in a queue uh, and um, the, those number of packets uh, are multiplied with L by R that means transmission delay of a single packet so that is how you are going to calculate the queuing delay so let's understand uh, as you can see uh, packet uh, being transmitted packet queuing delay for this particular packet this delay uh, free available buffer arriving packets uh, dropped if no free buffers they want uh, they want to say that if this particular queue is completely filled up with the packet then uh, more um, arriving packets would be um, dropped because there's no space in this particular queue so let's uh, move forward this is called the thing which you see on your screen is called latency or end-to-end -end delay so the uh, this end-to-end uh, -end delay is uh, formed with the help of four types of delays processing delay queuing delay transmission delay and propagation delay we will uh, try to understand these uh, types of delays one by one so first of all let's understand this particular scenario 
these two systems are connected with this particular router and this router is connected with the other router and these two routers are connected with a link which you can see over here with a single link so as as you can see that transmission delay which we have already discussed over here uh, it says that uh, you can see the arrow time required by this particular router to push all the bits present in this particular blue packet into this particular link is called transmission delay it says propagation delay time required by a single bit of information to reach from this point to this point propagation delay is nothing but time required by a single bit of information to reach from this point to this point from source to destination so i hope uh, you must be aware about uh, distance is equals to speed into uh, time so here you have to calculate the delay that means uh, time so how you are going to calculate the time time is equals to distance by speed so uh, if if uh, it's light uh, light signals if, if this link is of optical fiber then you will calculate that particular delay with the speed of light if you are uh, if this is a coaxial cable then you are going to calculate this that, that particular propagation delay with the help of uh, with the speed of electricity so propagation delay is nothing but uh, the delay is equals to distance by the speed distance from here to here and speed of this particular link so time required by a single bit of information to reach from this end to this end is called propagation delay transmission delay we have already discussed the formula uh, formula of transmission delay is l by r l are the number of bits present in this particular packet divided by transmission rate of this particular link transmission rate is always in uh, bits per uh, second transmission uh, rate is always in bits per second and it's it's like uh, number of bits uh, cro uh, crossing or cross sectional area per second so that would be the transmission uh, uh, rate of this particular link always in bits per second which is used in transmission de delay this should be clear to you guys transmission rate is used for transmission delay to calculate the transmission delay and that is capital l by r number of bits present in a packet divided by uh, transmission uh, rate and propagation delay is always uh, distance by uh, speed distance would always be in meters uh, and speed will always be in meters per second so it's it's a simple formula of distance is equals to speed into time you have to calculate the delay that means you have to calculate the time so time is equals to distance by speed simple so trans i hope we are clear with transmission delay and propagation delay transmission delay and propagation delay now let's let's talk about uh, we have already discussed in the last slide about the queuing delay now the delay which is left is uh, propagation delay uh, propagation delay uh, doesn't have any specific formula but propagation delay is the time uh, required by the router to uh, process the, uh, this particular packet let's suppose this packet is coming to this particular input port so once this particular packet comes to this particular router this router will uh, open this particular open the header of this particular packet it will take out the destination address and this that that destination address will be matched in the will be checked in the routing table which is designed with the help of routing algorithm and then in that particular table um, once this particular router finds the output port of this particular packet what i mean to say is where to send uh, this particular packet to uh, reach this particular uh, this particular packet, uh, packet at its destination in a shortest way so simply uh, time required by this particular router to forward this particular packet from this input port to the output port uh, and in 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 that process uh, router has to take out the destination address and uh, find out the output port to uh, send this particular packet in a shortest way to its destination so if you ask me what is processing delay it's very simple 
processing delay is the time required by the router to forward a particular packet from its input port to the output port. So this is uh, normally in, in numericals this value is directly given to you. There is no specific formula to calculate processing delay. Uh, but for queuing delay, transmission delay and uh, queuing delay, transmission delay and propagation delay, there are formulas and this particular uh, nodal delay or end to end delay or latency which is, con uh, which is uh, formed with, the, with four types of delays uh, and uh, th this particular uh, formula is very important from the examination point of view, from the gate uh, examination point of view most of the gate questions are completely based on this particular formula so you must be very clear with transmission delay, propagation delay, queuing delay and processing delay and uh, we will discuss uh, these, uh, these uh, delays with the help of analogy in the next lecture I hope we are clear with the uh, latency, end to end delay or nodal delay if you have any doubt we will discuss uh, those doubts in our uh, on that uh, discussion class. Thank you very much. See you in the next lecture.